Hundreds of cities holding pro-choice stopped the ban rallies today, protesting recent restrictive abortion laws passed in several states, including the most restrictive bill passed in Alabama. Several Democrats running for president participated in the D.C. rally and spoke out against these efforts to roll back the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. ABC's Serena Marshall is in D.C. tracking the latest developments. As nearly a dozen states push for new restrictive abortion laws, protests in response in all 50 states. From town squares to state capitals and directly in front of where the fight will likely ultimately land, the Supreme Court. Anti-choice extremists have been pushing to overturn Roe versus Wade. Well, are we going to let them? The protests after recent weeks saw increased momentum to restrict abortions, with Alabama essentially outlawing the procedure last week. In Louisiana, the Democratic governor signaling he'll sign a bill making abortions illegal once a heartbeat is detected, which can now occur before many women even know they're pregnant. In Georgia, a similar law recently enacted. While in Missouri, like Alabama, the new law has no exceptions for rape and incest. While President Trump has distanced himself from the most extreme laws, the vice the president says he's proud to be a part of a pro-life administration. The divisive issue speaking directly to both parties' bases. Even if there is incest, uh, th that child ain't going to know it. Abortion is health care and abortion is a right. Those new laws already being fought out in the courtroom. The flurry of laws are the most direct challenge to Roe v. Wade since the landmark ruling in 1973. And that seems to be the point. They are trying to test the Supreme Court itself based on the premise that the court looks different now than it did before. Already, there are multiple petitions before the Supreme Court related to restrictive abortion laws, including one signed by Mike Pence when he was governor of Indiana. So far this term, none have been taken up by the justices. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington.